Okay, today is January 14th, 2012. This recording is September 21st, 2011, 11.40 a.m., Tony Atkins office. Dale, her assistant. Hi. May or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Is Dale available? Uh, may I ask you, who's this again? I'm sorry. Pa Patrick Leva, L-I-V-A. Patrick, yeah, no. L-E-Y-B-A? L-I-V-A. L-I-V-A. Okay. And Patrick, uh, who are you with? What organization? I'm not. I'm a retired veteran that's being stolen from, from Bank of America. A retired veteran? Yes. And, and I'm sorry, what's the issue again? I have spoken to Dale in the past. She's familiar with who I am. Okay. Hold on one moment. Thank you. Let me see if she's available. Wonderful. All the tapes I have, you can hear much clearer in other avenues. Hi, Patrick. Yeah. Um, she's in a meeting at the moment, okay. so um, I will give you her voicemail. Can I speak? Can I have Tony Action's voicemail instead? And she'll return. Um, Tony does, I don't believe, have a voicemail. Let me give you Dale. Hold on a moment. Okay, thanks. will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. I just spoke with Louis Calderon at Bank of America. He's supposedly in the executive office. His phone number is 214-716-4729. He proceeded to just hang up on me. Bank of America has taken my FICA score of 800, and it's now 602. I've been begging Congresswoman Susan Davis to help me. She will not return my phone call. She has an assistant, Mike, that has been trying to help. But Bank of America is lying to his face, stating that as long as I make my payment, everything's fine. Well, it's not, and I'm drowning. I need to refinance my house and my car so I can retire. And these incompetent people at Bank of America, including Louis Calderon, who hung up on me because I was asking a few factual things, and he said, if you're taping, I have to hang up. Who's covering up for who? I'm going to keep playing my YouTube videos because the public has a right to know that the banks are blaming the government for this. 619-997-8618. I'm at the end of my rope. These people are lying, cheating, and stealing, and I have hours and hours and hours of tape recording. I begged Congresswoman Susan Davis to sit down with me. I went on her webpage and asked to sit to have a conference with her. She's afraid of this. Tony Atkins made a phone call once. I got a letter the next day stating that everything is fine. Well, it's not anymore. I need Tony Atkins' help again. She's a wonderful person. I support her. I even support Congresswoman Susan Davis when she's not out begging for money that was stolen from her. I think my house is 500000 She's on the news wasting our taxpayers' dollars complaining that she's lost $250,000. What about Americans? We're losing a whole lot more than 250000 and she's wasting taxpayers' dollars by going on the news to cry, I need more money so I can get reelected? How is that fair? Okay, I have this tape. I'll put this on YouTube if I don't hear back. Thank you so much. I don't mean that as a threat. It's just this is what I have to do to catch these liars because they all lie, and you've been nothing but helpful. So thank you. And Susan Davis's office has been helpful. Their hands are just tied. 